Hello everybody, this is Gamer Dan, and welcome to a very special video, my 1000th match in the M4 Sherman. Up on top you can see the armor model for the tank. Best armor, of course, is going to be the gun mantlet, and it's always wise to go hull down whenever possible in this tank, because you'll get a lot of bounces that way. You won't be invincible, but you will get bounces. Underneath is the gun characteristics. A lot of people use a 76mm. I tend to favor the 105. That's just my personal preference. I am going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about tactics. The map that we're going to be on is Ensk, so I'm going to be talking about two different ways to handle it. First one is the aggressive tactic. Your main forces go up the line, and the secondary force, yet capable, goes towards the cap and defends the cap. Attacks any oncoming enemies and just holds the line. Once the main force has gone through the starting position of the enemy, uh, the rest of the remaining forces will go towards the city, knock out any enemy players, and win by killing all the enemies. The base cap tactic is a little bit different. Um, some players go up to the midline and hold the defensive line, while the rest of the players go goes toward in the city and goes towards the center, knocking out any enemy players, um, making adjustments as needed, and inevitably just sitting on the cap and winning by cap. Now on this map, it's not going to be the normal ants, it's going to be the war variant. We do have one extra tier 6 and they have one extra tier 4. That being said, the health difference in tanks between tier 4 and tier 6 can be 400, 500 hit points. So I'm very happy about that, being that this is my thousandth match. And I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that artillery doesn't one-shot me and that my team is, you know, competent and those kind of things. So what I do at the beginning of the match is I kind of sit back and just wait a little bit just to see where everybody's going, whether they're going to go with the aggressive tactic or the base cap tactic. I'm going to slow it down right here and as you can see, it looks like we're being aggressive. Few players are going towards the cap and the rest of us are going up, up the line. So now that I know what everybody's going to do, I'm going to go and support. For some reason my mic wasn't working and that happens on occasion. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that, but when you're trying to talk, like it doesn't register, like it doesn't register what you're saying. So I you know, I don't know what happened with that. I do see a Matilda and Matilda even being a tier four is super, super critical to take out. I mean you gotta take those things out because it's got a really high pen, very high rate of fire, low alpha, but you know, I just can't have that tank rolling around hitting my teammates. We're only a minute into the match and I've already lost half my health and I'm thinking, oh no, please like, you know, let me at least contribute a little bit more before I die because it's too soon to die, especially in such a, you know, monumental match, it's the thousandth match. I'm trying to hit this tank here and it looks like the Matilda that I destroyed is absorbing the shots that I keep trying to put into him. So now that I realize that that's not working, I'm just going to back off and um, try a different angle. And remember, and when you're riding the M4 Sherman, try to remain hold down if at all possible. And you can kind of see on the ridge line here on the grass that a good part of my tank is probably protected. I probably have a little bit of my hull, but most of it is just a turret. So I'm just repositioning. I did see a shot fly by. Just trying to see if I can hit this arrow 44 and and uh, knock him out for my teammates. Of course, artillery is right behind me and did a great job in taking him out. Now I don't mean to be in the back of the map, but it's just it's just how I ended up being. Get <clears throat> kept reversing a little bit here and there. There's the artillery shot, just missed me, so I'm glad I moved when I did. Still have health. Um, we are winning by one extra tank and another KB1. I'm not doing a whole lot of damage because I'm not penetrating, but my high explosive rounds are doing some damage regardless of penning or not, <clears throat> which is the thing I like about the 105mm. If you're unable to pen, there's a good chance you'll still do some kind of damage. I switched to premium at this, mount, at this, at this moment and I miss. <laughs> First premium round I fire misses. Um, I do carry a handful of them because sometimes I get into 2-7 matches and I want to still be a contributing player. I don't want to just, you know, be, you know, enemy fodder or whatever. So I'm going to take another shot at this 
tank here with the premium round and hopefully I can knock him out. Of course now it looks like he's giving me a side which is really great. Bam! Knock him out. Another tank here. I probably should have switched to regular rounds but I didn't think about it right away and for some reason my premium just skidded right off and bounced. And even though I just said that you'll do damage regardless, for some reason, it, I'm not doing anything. I must be just hitting him in the weird position where it's just bouncing off. With the 105, you got to be kind of patient, take your time. And if you connect, you should be able to do a good amount of damage. We are even at this moment. Oh, wait, no, we're not. Yeah, here we are. We are 9 and 9. They do have one artillery, don't. So I know for sure the artillery is ahead of me. I'm not sure exactly where, but I know he is based on the last shot that I saw him try to take at me. So I'm just going to kind of roll up, see if I can hit anybody while I'm trying to find him. And there he is. I want to take him out. And I didn't realize, or I, didn't, I wouldn't have expected a little light tank to be sitting with artillery. That light tank did an injustice for his team. He should have been out spotting for the artillery, not sitting with him. But as you can see, I did, I did uh, bounce some shots there from that tank because I was mainly hauled down. Did lose my driver it looks like. This one I hadn't repaired him because the tank is way too sluggish without a driver. Comes another enemy and I love when I hit their gun. It makes their shots way inaccurate and if their shots are inaccurate they might not be able to hit me the way they want to and I might live a little longer. They're down to two enemies which is great. This is turning out to be a pretty good match, and I'm just going to be patient and just take my time, get a little bit more damage for my team, although they don't need it since we're doing a jo good job of winning the match right now. I could have gone in there and tried to attack him, but I was satisfied with how things were going. Got four kills, got a 13 pins, got some assists, got some spots. Pretty happy about that. Now I'm going to fast forward this part because I don't think you guys just want to see this but I'm going to give this a quick little fast forward just so you can see the end and see that I really do have a thousand matches. <clears throat> It'll be coming up in just a second here. There you can see what tanks I hit, how much damage I did. I think the most I did was on the AR-44. He was the only one that I did most damage on. Okay, back to garage so we can look at the stats. And I'll go back to regular speed. Switch to the tier 5 filter. Oops, there we go. And there you have it. 1,000 matches. 64% win rate. Hope you enjoyed this match and... See you next time.